Frozen. When I watched it the first time, I watched it in little bits, sort of over the space of about a week. And um, I really liked it. The songs were good. It was really, you know, great end. You know, love saves the day. The whole perfect love cast out fear. What more could you ask for? And then I rewatched it in one go. And I have to say, I was quite horrified. Yeah. <laughs> So I was horrified, not at the overall story. It's not that I'd misunderstood it the first time, but as I was watching Elsa, I just kept thinking of all those little girls who were in her dress, who were emulating her life. And it made me really sad because when she sings Let It Go, she's literally saying, I don't care about anyone else. I don't care what chaos I've caused. I don't care um, about the cold because it doesn't bother me. And she has um she gets there in the end but she's really quite selfish she's she's not the sort of person that i want my daughter to become and yet you have anna who was totally overlooked by um the public um she she made mistakes she got it wrong and yet it's her love that saves the day and so it's not that i have an issue with frozen as a film i think as a story it's a good one um i think god can use it but I um I get quite sad by just how much little girls want to be like Elsa, someone who is cruel and is locked in fear. And the song that they sing as her moment to be amazing is a song about being locked in fear and not um and not being open. And that's not what I want for the women of this nation. And so Frozen is not my favourite, shall we say. So how would you then help your child engage with those questions and, and arcs of women? I think that Frozen highlights one of the really important conversations that you can have with your child is who do we want to be like? Let's pick heroes. Let's pick people that we want to play and be like and look up to. That is some, that's just brilliant. But let's help them be wise about who they want to be like and why. Just like um, any other example, no one person is going to be the perfect example of someone to be like, other than, of course, Jesus. But actually, Lucy, why do you want to be like Elsa? What is it that you think is amazing in her? And you can help them see whether that's a good quality or not. I really liked being Anna. I really liked how much she didn't care about herself, but she cared about others. I liked that even though she made a mistake she got a second chance maybe you've got boys who want to be like olaf because he's so fun and he's so full of joy that's a brilliant thing to want to be so it's not really whether they pick the right character to want to be like it's whether we've helped them shape their understanding and they're picking qualities that are worth picking <laughs> 